I had a brother let me know about this situation here. It's absolutely incredible. Washington Times reported on this thing today. Alabama, Alabama megachurch gets Senate approval to form its own police force. Oh boy. The Alabama state, or excuse me, the Alabama Senate voted Tuesday in favor of letting a Bir Birmingham megachurch establish its own police force, setting the stage for a House vote next week and a likely legal showdown. Briarwood Presbyterian Church in Birmingham claims it needs its own law enforcement agency to ensure its congregation is kept safe. Chapter and verse on that one, please. The State Senate Judiciary Committee gave its proposal to go ahead last week and forwarded its request to the full Senate, where it over overwhelmingly passed Tuesday by a 24-4 to 4 vote. Gee, I wonder why. The sole purpose of this proposed legislation is to provide a safe environment for the church, its members, students, and guests, Church Administrator Matt Moore said previously. Over 4,000 worshipers regularly congregate at Briarwood Presbyterian, in addition to roughly 2,000 students and teachers who attend the church's K-12 school and theological seminary, NBC News reported. After the shooting at Sandy Hook and in the wake of similar assaults at churches and schools, Briarwood recognized the need to provide qualified first responders to, co to coordinate with local law enforcement. Yeah. Mr. Moore told the network last month, referring to the 2012 elementary school massacre in Newtown, Connecticut. Uh, the whole thing was staged, by the way. These, these school shootings and stuff like this, there's so much coming out on them. Things, they're fake. you got actors and things like this, and it's, and that's a whole other issue. But, you know, again, where's the stuff at in Scripture? It's not. Uh, Alabama law provides for the employment of one or more persons to act as police officers at colleges and other private educational institutions, Mr. Moore said. Church, church, and police, government, merging. Exactly, as I've been saying now for many, many years. 501c3 is the doorway into this whole thing. We're moving into it. Absolutely, it's happening. Uh, hopefully we won't be here much longer, but as things progress, and by the way, you know, Presbyterians are one of the Protestant denominations, uh, Calvinists and stuff like that, that would have put Bible-believing Christians, uh, the early Anabaptist believers, they would have been putting them to death. So, oh, but it won't happen again, you know, it'll never happen again. That was years, years and years ago, you know, we're much more advanced now.